Back pain is a common complaint that affects most adults at some point of time in their lives. The type of back pain depends on the part of the back affected and the underlying cause. A dull, vague backache due to a bad posture worsens with prolonged sitting and standing and is relieved by rest. A sharp, shooting, burning and electric type pain due to pressure on a nerve may spread along the groin, thighs and sometimes legs. It is felt during coughing, sneezing, lifting heavy objects, straining at stools or in postures that stretch the affected nerves. Loss of sensations, muscle weakness and loss of control of urine flow may be present. Back pain while bending due to an injured back is accompanied by tightening of the back muscles. Pressing on the back elicits pain. Back pain may appear due to any of the following reasons. Conditions affecting the bones of the back like fracture, cancer, infection, osteoporosis, osteoarthritis and ankylosing spondylitis. Conditions affecting the intervertebral discs, the cushions between the backbones. For example, degeneration or slipping of the intervertebral discs from their normal position. Sprains and strains of the muscles and ligaments that support the backbone which may be due to bad posture, lifting heavy objects, falls or automobile accidents. Direct injury to the nerve roots, the thick nerves that arise from the spinal cord in the back. Conditions affecting organs like the pancreas, kidney and the aorta or advanced stages of pregnancy. Medications often provide relief from back pain, though surgery is sometimes needed. Over-the-counter painkillers like acetaminophen and aspirin relieve mild pain. Severe pain may require opioids. Muscle relaxants like cyclobenzaprine or methocarbamol relieve muscle tightness while gabapentin and progabalin relieve nerve pain. Creams or sprays containing counter-irritants may be prescribed for local use. Medications may be required to treat the underlying disease. For example, alendronate may be used to strengthen the bones and prevent osteoporotic fractures. Surgical treatment may be required for disc herniation, cancers and other conditions. Radiation treatment is used to treat some cancers that may have spread to the backbone. Self-care measures for back pain can reduce the dependency on pain medications which are often associated with side effects. Rest, but for a day or two at the most. Resume normal activity as early as possible. Complete bed rest is not recommended. Aerobic exercises, back and abdomen strengthening exercises, stretching exercises or yoga prevent the back pain from returning. Exercise also reduces excess weight, which can put additional stress on the back. It is important to warm up before strenuous workouts. Adopt a proper technique for sitting. Sit with the back straight on a chair with adequate back support. A small pillow or a towel roll can be used to support the curve of the lower back. The feet should be flat on the ground or on a footrest. Do not sit for prolonged periods. Take regular breaks and walk around for short durations. While lifting a heavy object off the ground, first plan out how to lift it and where to keep it. Don't stoop or squat, but bend slightly at the hips and knees while lifting. Keep the feet slightly apart and raise the object close to the waist. Avoid jobs that require frequent lifting of heavy objects in case of chronic back pain. Smoking can contribute to degeneration of the intervertebral discs and should be stopped. Some tips for person taking care of someone with back pain are Understand about back pain through reading and or consulting the doctor and help the patient deal with the pain as much as possible. The patient may find temporary relief from the pain with the application of ice or frozen gel packs initially and heat application after a few days on the sore back. Place a thin towel between the eyes or heat and the skin. Warm baths may also help. Point out when the patient slouches. Chairs that provide proper support should be available. A firm mattress will also help the back. Encourage sleeping in the fetal position on the side with a thin pillow between the knees. Provide a healthy diet and ensure adequate exercise to avoid weight gain. The food should contain adequate calcium to maintain the strength of the bones. Do not allow the patient to use painkillers for long durations 
without consulting the doctor. Take the patient to a specialist if the pain does not improve, worsens or if the patient develops muscle weakness. Spinal manipulation, massage, acupuncture and transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation may benefit some individuals, but consult the doctor before opting for these techniques for the patient. Offer psychological help if the patient cannot cope with the pain mentally. Therapies like cognitive behavioral therapy could help some individuals deal with the pain. Spend time with the patient. Encourage activity and social interactions.